with this answer elizabeth was forced to be content but her own opinion continued the same and she left him disappointed and sorry it was not in her nature however to increase her vexation by dwelling on them she was confident of having performed her duty and to fret over unavoidable evils or argument them by anxiety was no part of her disposition had lydia and her mother known the substance of her conference with her father the indignation would hardly have found expression in the united volubility in lydia's imagination a visit to brighton comprised every possibility of earthly happiness she saw with the creative eye of fancy the streets of that gay bathing place covered with officer she saw herself the object of attention to tens and to scores of them at present unknown she saw all the glories of the camp at tents stretched forth in beauteous uniformity of lines crowded with the young and the gay the dazzling with scarlet and to complete the view she saw herself seated beneath a tent tenderly flirting with least six officers at once had she known her sister sought to tear her from such prospects and such realities as these and would have been her sensations they could have been understood only by her mother who might have felt nearly the same lydia's going to brighton was all that consoled her for her melancholy conviction of her father's husband's never intended to go there himself but they were entirely ignorant of what had passed and the raptures continued with little intermission to the very day of lydia's leaving home elizabeth was now to see mr wickham for the last time having been frequently in company with him since her return agitation was pretty well over the agitation of formal partiality entirely so she had even learned to detect in the very gentleness which had first delighted her an affectation and the sameness to discuss and weary in this present behavior to herself moreover she had a fresh source of displeasure for the inclination his son testified of renewing those intentions which had made the early part of the acquaintance could only serve after what had since passed to provoke her she lost all concern for him in finding herself thus selected as the object of such idle and the frivolous gallantry and while she steadily repressed it could not by but feel the reproof contained in his believing that however long and for whatever cause his intentions had been withdrawn her vanity would be gratified and her preference secured at any time by the renewal on the very last day of the regiment's remaining at meriton he dined with other of the officers and longburn and so little was elizabeth disposed to part from him in good humor that on his making some inquiry as to manner in which her time has passed at hunsford she mentioned colonel fitz william and mr darcy's having both spent three weeks at rosing and asked him if he was acquainted with the former he looked surprised displeased alarmed but with a moment's recollection and a returning smile replied that he had formerly seen him often and after observing that he was a very gentleman like man asked her how she had liked him her answer was warmly in his favor with an air of indifference he soon afterwards added how long did you say he was at rosings nearly three weeks and you saw him frequently yes almost every day his manners are very different from his cousins yes very different but i think mr darcy improves upon acquaintance indeed cried mr wickham with a look which did not escape her and pray may i ask but checking himself he added in a grave tone is it in address that he improves has he died to add odd of civility to his ordinary style for i did not hope he continued in a lower and more serious tone that he is improved in essentials oh no said elizabeth in essential i believe he is very much what he ever was while she speak wickham looked at as if scarcely lo- knowing whether to rejoice over her words or to distrust their meaning there was a something in her countenance which made him listen with an apprehensive and anxious attention while she added 
when i said that he improved or on acquaintance i did not mean that his mind or his manners were in the state of improvement but that from knowing him better his disposition was better understood wickham's alarm now appeared in a heightened complexion and agitated look for a few minutes he was silent till shaking off his embarrassment he turned to her again and said in gentlest of accent you who so well know my feeling toward mr darcy will readily comprehend how sincerely i must rejoice that he is wise enough to assume even the appearance of what is right his pride in that direction may be of service if not to himself to many others for it must only deter him from such foul misconduct as i have suffered by i only fear that the sort of cautiousness to which you i imagine have been alluring is merely adopted on his visit to his aunt of whose good opinion and judgments he stands must in awe his fear of her has always operated i know when they were together and a good deal is to be imputed to his wish of forwarding the match with miss de bourg which i am certain he was very much at heart elizabeth could not repress a smile at this but she answered only by a slight inclination of the head she saw that he wanted to engage her on the old subject of his grievances and she was in humor to indulge him the rest of the evening passed with appearance on his side of usual cheerfulness but with no further attempt to distinguish elizabeth and departed at last with mutual civility and possibly a mutual desire of never meeting again when the party broke up lydia returned with mrs forster to meriton from whence they were to set out early the next morning the separation between her and her family was rather noisy than pathetic kitty was the only one who shed tears but she did weep from vexation and envy mrs bennet was diffuse in her good wishes for the felicity of her daughter and impressive in her injunctions that she should not miss the opportunity of enjoying herself as much as possible advice which were there was every reason to believe would be well attended to and in the clamorous happiness of lydia herself in bidding farewell the more gentle ideas of her sisters were uttered without being heard